Hey there, Synth Explorers. Really quick one today. I was working on a sample pack yesterday and uh, wanted to go through the process of grouping the samples from the DFAM into types of sounds. So like kick, snare, percussion, whatever. And um, came across this little hack. I don't know. I don't know how new it is, but I thought it was really nifty. Um, so using Ableton Live 12's new um, similar files feature, um, you can see that I've got all of my sliced samples here. They're all in no particular uh, naming or whatever. So what I wanted to do was to see if I could use this to essentially group similar sounds together. Um, and I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. And it worked really well. So, um, so yeah, let's just have a quick look. So let's pick this as a bit of a kick sound. Click the button. It's got all of the... Um, you know, samples from my pack as well as other stuff, but I can quickly just go through these and see what they sound like. So let's say I wanted to choose these ones from my samples. Um, and then I think, I think the next thing I thought was, oh, can I easily just drag these into a folder in Finder? And I thought, oh, probably not. Um, but sure enough, it worked. So it works just like this. Drag it over to Finder, get your folder open, bang it in there. All my samples are there. And then you can just quickly rename them all. So just call it that for now. And there we go. That's all my samples grouped, labeled, and uh, uh, yeah, and named. Um, and I also went through this process a few, a few times with different types of sounds. So um, you know, there might be some more punchy kicks or less punchy kicks or whatever, and just went through and grouped those together. Um, and it went through the same process a few times. And um, yeah, I've got my toms, kicks, perks, snares all grouped up nicely, um, ready to go. So yeah, just wanted to share this little tip. Um, hope you're all good. See you later.